feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. But it's a- hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm Ted Jenkins, your host. Got Dr. Dante Vaughn, he's a managing partner and CEO of CultureWorks, and you're talking about a way to improve your culture, start your culture, make it work to grow your business. CultureWorks is the company that you wanna talk to. As always, when you're on the YouTube channel here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. That's how you get all of these videos, and if you click the notifications bell, they're gonna come into your email box every single week. You don't need to pay 100 grand to get an MBA in entrepreneurship. You can get an MBA in entrepreneurship just by sitting down while you're watching those comedy shows at home and <laughs> checking out the videos right here on YouTube. As always, if you wanna hear uh, the video that Dr. Vaughn and I did today and, and hear the whole podcast, we had a great discussion, real deep about culture. Just go to shrimptankpodcast.com and you can really hear a great interview that we did all about how to grow and create a culture in your organization. And, and speaking of that, um, talk to the audience today a little bit about, I mean, how, how do you go about uh, creating culture in a company? Why is it important? You know, culture is really at the foundation of your existence as an organization, right? As a purpose-driven organization, you recognize that how your leaders and your employees show up and work together to realize your vision is really founded in that culture performance system that you put in place in your business. So talking about culture is really at the heart of the experiences of your leaders, your employees, and it manifests in in the experience for your customers. So you gotta have a look at that because that's essential and really a strategic pillar to your business. Yeah, and it's interesting because what comes first, people are processed when the people are motivated to work for your company. Sometimes your processes can be, meh, okay, and you can still make a lot of things happen. But I see a lot of companies that make these little value sheets that say integrity, honesty, commitment. Um, If you're starting a business or you're looking at your business now, how should you go about creating the values for your company? You know, the values should be rooted in how do you believe individuals should engage and interact and make decisions in the business. What's going to be the driver or the framework that should guide them when all else is unclear? And how does that help you realize the ultimate intent or purpose or outcome you want in your business? Because sometimes you have to get back to purpose. Why does it matter? Why does integrity matter in your business? Why does inclusion matter? Why are these values so essential? And you may have to reflect and say, you know what? I align with that value because I was told to or because it was historically relevant. But in my business today, I need to rethink what we mean and what it represents for us because you need to have integrity behind it. I I say in our book, you can't fake culture. So what you are invested in and what you actually perpetuate is the reality of your culture. So you better start with a reflection on what's important. It's interesting you said that because there probably are some businesses that do fake that culture today. And if you're finding and you're watching this and you're saying, gosh, my business is not moving fast enough. I'm turning over employees. I can't get enough people that want to work for me. What's one piece of advice you could give to somebody today to just try to start to change the culture at their company? You know, I think understanding current state and ideal state. And sometimes you have to start with ideal state. What about how your leaders and how they are showing up every day is misaligned for what you want to experience. Because through that evaluation, you can start to understand the gaps. Now, the root cause in that is often founded in the expectations, the standards, the level of accountability that you've established in how those leaders are engaging and interacting and making decisions in the business. So it's going to require some real candid, honest, self reflection in terms of how you perpetuate that culture as well. And then for organizations who are operational, maybe you are seeing success in your business. What about how individuals are coming together has led to those successes? Because that becomes what you want to scale and repeat, because then that is the formula. How those leaders have Right. Shown up and driven success in your business often becomes the foundation where you're working backwards and saying, oh, well, then that means for us to do this greater and more efficiently and effectively, I need to practice with intentionality, discipline and in inclusion and collaboration or innovation or whatever those core values mean to you. How can people get a copy of the book? 
You can go to any major platform, Amazon, you can go to Barnes and Noble, you can just Google From Culture to Culture by Dr. Dante Vaughn and Randall Powers. You'll find the book. And we were we were on the bestsellers list in, in, at Amazon. That's awesome. And if people want to get in touch with you, get a meeting consultation with your company, talk about creating the culture in a new business that they're starting, or they've got a company with 100 employees and they don't feel like the culture is exact, exactly where it needs to be, mm -hmm. how can they hire to have you come in and not only help them with this, but then measure it on an ongoing basis? You know, we provide a number of tools and resources that enable you to define, implement, and measure your culture in a proactive way, starting with your leaders. You reach out to us at getcultureworks.com, G-E-T-C-U-L-T-U-R-E-W-O-R-X as in xylophone, getcultureworks.com. There are different channels to reach out to us there. You can also Google us at any of the social platforms and you'll be able to get in contact with us there as well. It's a great interview today. You got to check out more about Dr. Vaughn. He writes at Forbes as well. So you may want to track his column and the things that he writes on and culture and how to change that in your company. If you're on the YouTube channel, we literally have hundreds to thousands of great videos of entrepreneurs all across the country, family businesses, We've got businesses that are in retail, restaurant, services, manufacturing, check them all out. All things that may make a difference in your future here in 2023 and help your business get smarter, faster, better, so you can scale it. And that's the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond.